Le Havre is a springboard for Paris, Normandy, and Honfleur. But there are a few catches we want to point out. Welcome to France. I'm Troy, and this is the Port Lowdown. Le Havre is in the Normandy region of northern France, 122 miles northwest of Paris. Normandy is synonymous with D-Day. Thus, excursions to the Normandy landing sites of Omaha and Utah Beach sell out way quickly, like we couldn't get one. So we focused on Le Havre itself and the neighboring seaside town of Honfleur. You land at a no-kidding industrial port. There are two berths, north and south, that provide very different terminals. The north berth terminal is newer and promises full services like tourist info, car rental, cafe, and toilets. We landed at the south berth, which is more basic, with steep and somewhat odd gangways. Small waiting area, souvenir shop, no toilets that we could see. Between the two is a large parking lot, the rally point for all buses and taxis. A number of passengers made this their disembarkation port, heading to Paris, which is a whopping two and a half hour train ride away. Do Paris and return to your ship same day? Not recommended. But make Paris your disembarkation point and spend a few days in the City of Light? Where do I sign up? Disembarking groups meant a long line for taxis and ride shares, since there's a lot of traffic to the train and bus station about five to ten minutes away by car. By the way, the Avis car rental office is also at the station, just outside the corner facing Rue Magellan. Actually, the line continued to be long through the morning. That left us with walking to town or take the ship's hired shuttle bus. Walking isn't exactly a pretty experience. There's some rough patches coming out of the pier area. But a rapid 30 minute walk will get you to the unofficial town center of Place Perret. The ship's hired shuttle cost us $20 round trip. That turned out to be a disadvantage for us later, as you'll see. It took about 15 minutes to get to Place Perret, which was quite pretty. In fact, the town center is quite pretty and worth a stroll. The tourist information office is along the square, where you'll find a public bathroom. By the way, walk a few blocks south, and there's a pharmacy. From the square, we bought our shuttle bus ticket for Honfleur with B. La Havre, which operates several local tours. You can get tickets directly at this stop via the nice and helpful attendants, but don't wait since their fleet and seating are limited. They also have a ticket office near the square, which has a small shop, but no toilets. Now here's the disadvantage we mentioned. The ticket included a ride back to the port, so we wasted the return portion of our shuttle bus ticket. And for a large group like us, that hurt. Now we had time before our bus tour, so we decided to hang out at a cafe. It's France. You must do a cafe. It's required. Expect prices to be on par with major US cities. For me, lounging about with cafe au lait, desserts, and soda with syrup was worth the price of admission. Just leave me here, I'm good. By the way, if you're enjoying our Le Havre report so far, why not hit us up with a like? And consider subscribing. We're doing videos every week that we can't wait to share. We really appreciate you. The bus to Honfleur took about 30 minutes or so, crossing the vast industrial sector of Le Havre and the huge Pont de Normandie. Now bear in mind, Honfleur is one of the most popular towns in France and gets crowded. Lots of local and domestic tourists also come here, as well as international. All the tour buses apparently collect here, along the East Basin. There's also a tourist train meeting area here with boarding times. Now from here, turn right and follow the water for a few minutes and you'll reach the main harbor area, which has the highest concentration of cafes and shops. Don't forget to explore the surrounding streets, as they are loaded with food and shopping. This is the place to eat a good seafood meal, grab an ice cream, and wander the old, untouched-by-time streets. 
To call the town charming is to understate the case. It's so iconic a sight, you almost expect Belle to pop out of a window in full song. You might even catch a wedding. Just watch out for the cobblestone streets here, which are equally old and uneven. And there are sights to see as well, like the Church of St. Catherine, France's largest wooden church built in the 15th century. As so many other wooden structures in Europe have disappeared from fires, wars, or neglect, this church is no small miracle. If I come back, I'm definitely exploring the town more and walk most of the way. It's compact, clean, and friendly. Have you been to the Av? What was your experience? Leave a comment.